Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Hello. Hello. Here we are. Here we are. Good evening. Good evening. All right, let's start. Let's start. I want you to pay, att pay attention to this, okay? Today, we're going to study quantifiers. What, what are the quantifiers? Quantifiers. Let, let me do something. Quantifiers are a group of words that tell us how many people is doing or in a group of a category, okay? Like they, we can give a percentage to understand. To understand uh, like how many people is doing this, okay, or how many people is in that group, like all. When we say all, we're talking about everybody. Listen. All families have only one child. We're talking about all the families in an area, in a neighborhood, in a country, okay? Or nearly all, almost everybody, but not the 100%, less than the 100%. Let's say a 90%. So nearly all families have only one child. And when we use most, we're talking about the majority. The majority of families have only one child, okay? So most, so this, this group here is the, the higher group, okay? The, the higher percentage, the higher percentage of that people, that family, students, co-workers, etc. Okay, can we can create more examples or categorize other things? I'm gonna give you some more examples. Okay, many, many. Sure. Yes. Sorry, este. What is nearly? Nearly, casi. Cerca, cercana, ok, literalmente sería cercanamente todo, pero eso no, o sea, casi todos. Ah, ok. Casi toda la familia, ok. Most, the majority, many, but many is a, a, a we have like the less percentage, we can say that there is like a, 
70%. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of family, we can say that is the 50%. A lot of family. Some family, 40%. Not many, 30. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child, okay? And no one is zero. Zero percent. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, so all these words are called quantifiers. They give you a percentage or a quantity. Instead of using numbers, we use these words. Let's check another example. Okay, let me see here. Let's talk about students. All the students in my classroom pass the exam. Understand? Everybody in the classroom. The 100% of the students pass the exam. Or we can say nearly all the students in my classroom pass the exam. Let's say that we have 30 students in the classroom, but only 26 of them pass the exam. So we can use nearly all. Understand? Understand? Do you understand? You got the idea? Nobody answered. What happened? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Solo uno de veinte. Come on. What happened with the rest? I understand. Okay. It will say not many students. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shorten the, the sentence. Not many students pass the exam. What is the percentage of not many? 40%? 40%. That means that if we have 30 students and only the 40% is like 12 students. Yeah? Understand? This is These are quantities expressed in words. We express quantities or numbers, percentages in words. Got it? No, expresamos cantidades, porcentajes, números con palabras. Y esas, o sea, por decirlo así, esas cantidades uno juega con ellas. O sea, puede que desde, desde mi perspectiva, not many puede ser como 35%, pero para otra persona puede que sea menos. Mm. O por se mantiene el rango ahí de... Por ahí, o sea, no es una cuestión fija, ¿verdad? Que sea 30, 35, por ahí, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Podría ser 40. O oh, no sé, ¿verdad? Ok, por ahí anda la cosa, ok. But, when we want to express, and we don't want to give numbers or percentages, we use this word. A lot of people... A lot of people on the street. Uh, don't buy. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people on the street. Use. 
use their cell phone. Uh, an example. Okay, we are saying that the 50% of the population of the people are using their cell phone in the street. Okay, got it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Good. Yep. Okay. Also, we have some. Some of the students. Passed the exam. Some of the students passed the exam. Got it? And some is like 40%, let's say 40. Nine. All right. Comprende? Yes. Yes? Comprende. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, now let's go to another activity. This time you are going to write on the Zoom chat. Okay, you see these sentences? Let me send you a, a photo. And this one too. Okay. What are you going to do? You are going to replace the percentage for a quantifier, okay? You're going to write a quantifier here. Donde hayan porcentajes, you're going to write a quantifier, okay? And write it on the Zoom chat. Please write the sentence with the quantifier. Come on, start right now. Understand the activity. Okay, let's do it. Hello. 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 Yes, a lot of women get married by, okay. Thank you, Diego. Continue, please continue.
in Australia, nearly all of married couple have children. In Australia, most of married couple have children. Okay, continue, please continue. Sarah, in Australia, nearly all, if there was a percentage, nearly all marriage couple have children. In the United States, no one of the people vote before the age of 18. In the United States, no one, uh, okay. A few of the people in Germany live alone. No one, okay, 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 good, good, good. Continue, continue. All the sentences, all the sentences. In the United States, oh, I got my all the sentences. Not many of the people in Germany live alone. All right, very good, very good.
Blanca, eh, most be most of American. No, most percent. Who tell us the percent? No one of the no one of the people. Many of American high school students have jobs. Some people in the United States, okay. Okay, Blanca Esmeralda, let me see, Sarah, okay, let, let's do something, let's do something. Check your answer with this. Where are we, where are we, here we are. Here we are, okay, here. Look this are, okay, These are the answers. Number one, a lot of, a lot of women, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Number two, nearly all of married couples have children. Number three, Number three, in the United States, no one of the people vote before the age of 18. So that is zero percent, is no one. Yes or no? Yes, zero percent. No one. Then we have uh, number four. Not many, not many of the people in Germany live alone. And, and five, five, most of American high school students have jobs. Got it? Okay, Melissa, Daniela, read the sentences.
Elisa. Eh, leo la primera. Five sentences. Ah. Eh, many of America high school. No, no, listen, listen, listen. So, hello, hello. The five sentences, one, two, three, four, and five. Hello. Okay. She's gone. Juan Carlos, can you read the five sentences, please? In China, 50% of women get married. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Juan Carlos. We take quantifiers. We the quantifiers. Hello. No ha hecho el ejercicio, Juan Carlos. No, teacher. Ah, por ahí comencemos. Fátima. No me answer. Miguel Alejandro. El, the first sería eh, is in China a lot of women get married by the age of 22 continue please that's music that's music for my ears in Australia nearly all of marriage marriage couples have children in the United States no one of the people both before the age of 18. Uh, not many, not many of people in Germany live alone. Live alone. Live alone. And most of American high school students have jobs. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Miguel. Nice. Very nice of you. Josué Abel. Ok. Jennifer Damisel. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. In Australia, nearly all of married a couple have children. In the United States, no one of the people was before the age of 18. Uh, not many of the people in Germany live alone. Most American high school students have jobs. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good. Roberto Carlos, your turn. Hello. No, read the sentences with the quantifiers. The number five, number four. Everything from one to five. One to five, okay. Yeah. 
the first can you listen yes okay in china a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Mm -hmm. Second, in Australia, a lot mm -hmm. of marriage couples have children, no. children. No. And uh, three, in the United States, no one of people bought before the age of 18. Or A few? No, the answers are here. Ah, okay. Ah, ah okay. Ah. Just, <laughs> just learn. Just uh, okay. Hmm. Or no many, no many of the people in Germany lives alone. Live Five most percent of American high school students have a job. All right, don't use percent. So, yes, most of American, okay? Okay. All right, and the, the plural of woman is women. Okay, in China, a lot of women. All right, this is for everybody. The plural of woman is women. Okay, thank you. Diego, your turn. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. In in Australia, nearly all of marriage couples have children. In the United States, no one of, of the people would uh, before the age of 18. How do you say um, votar? Vote. 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 And not many of the people in Germany live alone. And most of America high school students have jobs. Perfect. Very good. Leave alone. All right. Excellent. Let me see. And down. now we have Liliana Abigail. People don't want for to participate. Okay. Christian. In China, a lot of uh, women get married by the age of 22. Very good. In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Mm -hmm. in yes. the in the United States no one of the people bought before the age of 18 mm -hmm. uh, no many of the people in Germany live alone live alone uh, most of American high school students have jobs Great, great. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, now, Jessica Elizabeth. In China, a lot of women get married by, by age. By the age. 
by by, a, d, by d by 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 t h h twenty two of twenty two. Continue. Austria. 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 Australia. 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 Hang us out. Hola. Australia. Australia. Austria. Perdón. Usted está diciendo Austria. Australia. Australia. Ajá. Nearly all. Of Mary couples have children. Couples have couples. Continue, continue. Come on. You can do In it. In the United States, no one of the people vote before vote. the age of 18. 18. Very good. Continue. Mm. Uh, not many percent of no. the people in don't don't say percent don't say percent i pardon not many of the people in germany live alone live alone live alone most most live pardon live alone Live alone. Live alone. Most of American high school students have Joe. Okay. Very good. Continue practicing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anne Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. Okay. Read, please. Okay. In China, a lot of Women get married by the age of 22. In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. In the United States, United States, in the United States, no one of the people but before the age of eight. 18. Um, 18. <laughs> and not many of the people in Germany live live alone. In most of American high school students have jobs. All right. We're going to stop here because we have another activity. I recommend you to continue reading in... Uh, uh, Allowed, sure, I okay. don't know if yes? ask, ask him. I don't know if you have to me because I can hear you before. Who's talking? Sarah. Sarah. Oh no. Well, I don't remember. I I called a lot of people and didn't answer. No. Okay. I, yeah. Just like, Sarah or Sarah. E? Sarah. Ah, uh, Sarah. No, Sarah, I didn't call you. Okay. Maybe next okay. time. Oh, no, okay. Sarah. In the next exercise, okay? Okay. Be because you are a lot of people here, okay? So, the next in the next activity, I want you to write an email similar to this one. Okay? And write it on the chat make sure to use quantifiers at least one quantifier okay one or two or if you want to use three the better okay understand the activity you are going to write an email and write it on the zoom chat Okay, let's start. Right.
can you repeat the the activity perfect the, the activity you are going to write an email like this one dear john dear john john thanks for your email now let me tell you about my family my parents are coffee farmers most i guess that quantifier right? most families here are small i have one older sister but i don't have a brother okay you can write other information but okay. but use quantifiers thank you welcome Send it to the soon shot, please. Hurry up. Okay. A lot of people eat junk food, but most people is doing exercises and eat nearly all healthy. Mm -hmm. But no hay encabezado de correo electrónico. Okay.
Le voy a decir, dear, dear Sara, dear Cristina, dear Miguel, okay? Understand? An email. Teacher. Hello. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, here. Dear Juan, okay, that's good. Thanks for your email. Now let me tell you about my phone, my phone. My parents are working in the bank. Some people, some of, okay. Uh, some people. I have nearly all the students in my classroom and a lot of teachers in my school. I like my new job. Goodbye. Okay, Juan Carlos, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's stop. You're taking you're taking too much time. Okay. Oh, thank you, Julius. Dear John William, thanks for your email. Now let me tell you about my father. My father, my father is in Honduras. All my family here are blue eyes, but my sister is black eyes. Donde está el cuantificador? I don't see. I don't see nearly all. Oh yeah, all, all yeah. Sorry, sorry, all. Oh, yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, let's stop. Okay, Sarah, I want you to read this article. Okay. American okay. family, but, but wait, let me, let me give an order. Uh, uh, Sarah, no, wait, wait. Sarah first, then now that Judy, Ana Cristina, Diego, Judy loves, eh, Adriana, Emily is having, Julio, un unfortunately, wait, 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 unfortunately, estoy leyendo la primer palabra del párrafo. And the last one is Blanca, George is enjoying, en ese orden, ¿eh? Sarah, 
Sara, Ana Cristina, Diego, Adriana, e Julio, Julio, ¿verdad? No, güey. Ya se me colaron ahí. Okay, Sara, Ana Cristina. Oh, Diego. Adriana en Julio. Ok, Blanca no. Ok, Star Sara. The changing family. Yes. Uh, read the, this part not very. Yes. Yeah? American families. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the more Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer pro programmer. Programmer? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Programmer, this year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy like her job. Everything is going well, but there, there are also some problems. All right, also some problems. Okay, continue, Ana Cristina. How tag Judy is working? Steve has to wait, wait. help. Now, oh, okay, now that Judy is working, yes, yes. Okay. Eh, empiezo, Neil. Yeah, 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 again. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the house at work. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay, thank you. Diego. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired, tired and bossy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. All right, thank you. Next. Me, teacher. Adriana. Okay. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Why, thank you. Julio. Okay. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program right. Now he's spent most afternoon is from off TV. From the TV. Thank you, Blanca. Josh. Blanca. Se fue. Ahorita andaba. Ok. Eh, por el. Ahorita okay. estamos por. La última, Josh. Josh. Enjoyable. Uh -huh. His new his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the on the phone. He is also doing a few household household chores. Chores. All right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna stop here, and I'm gonna call the attendance. Okay, Adriana Eugenia Grajeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Cristina Osorio. Present teacher. Ana Leticia García. 
Ana Elizabeth Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Cynthia Marisol Mejía. Cristian Ernesto Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Stephanie Salmerón. Here, teacher. Thank you. Diego Francisco Aguilera. Present. Elba Milagro Granados. Present, teacher. Fátima Saray Hernández. Jessica Elizabeth Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josué Abeluna. Present. Thank you. Juan Alberto Fuentes. Present teacher. Juan Carlos López. Present. Thank you. Julio César Tobar. Present teacher. Liliana Abigail, Abigail Cedillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Daniela Ángel. Present. Thank you. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos Mineda. Present. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sara Elizabeth López. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sita Eunice Ruiz. Jennifer Damisela Flores. I'm here. Eh, thank you. And Yolanda y Emilet Andrade. Yes, thank you. Okay, my friends. Okay, it's time to say goodbye. I really feel satisfied with you, but sometimes you are too quiet. Okay, please continue studying. On your own, by yourself. Vuelvanse autodidactas. Tenemos la ventaja de el internet. Sáquenle provecho. If you want to practice English with me, you can practice. Send messages in English. And we can practice. Voice mail. Okay, say things. Say hello, how are you? I'm doing this, I, I practice, practice, okay? With me, with your partners, okay? Continue, continue with your learning process, okay? Yo estoy satisfecho con ustedes, ¿no? pero a veces siento como que están relajados, okay? No se relajen. Si no les, si no les pido, no lo hacen. All right, so please continue, okay? Don't stop, don't give up. Okay. Ya avanzaron bastante, falta todavía, okay? All right. Okay, okay. feliz y contento. Me voy con ustedes. See you next time, okay? Gracias por todo, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Gracias por la paciencia. Siempre, siempre. Bendiciones. Thank you. Gracias igual. Cuídense mucho. Take care. Gusto. Bye, teacher. Gracias. Goodbye.